Greetings everyone, I'm the Good Sir Knight, and today I'll be giving you your introductory video to different types of airsoft guns. Now, airsoft guns come in every shape, shape and form, and they'll, they'll work a little bit differently, so the most basic type is going to be your spring platforms. Now, the cheapest spring platform is going to be a handgun, but they do also make spring shotguns. And the spring shotguns can fire from single, a single pellet to three pellets in one go, so all you have to do is you cock the small piston with the hammer on this particular gun and then you point and pull the trigger. And that's how a spring gun works. So this is a little revolver type. They make a magazine fed and it'll just load the next BB with each pull of a slide. So, that being said, it works a lot like this. Now the next more popular type of gun is electric. The electric uses a battery that pops the piston for you and they generally have your semi and full automatic models. So here we have the SR-16. As you can see, a battery will be connected in the back of the buttstock here. There's some cables and that will power the gun to fire single or semi and full auto. So it's the most popular type. You have magazines that load similar to a spring, but this one happens to hold 140 BBs. So, just load that in there, fire away. When you're dry, it'll, uh, it'll still fire, but it won't shoot any pellets. And that's when you would change magazines, it'll make a different noise, and you'll pretty much be alerted, so you need to keep an eye on your ammo. Now, firing this electric gun will sound a lot like this. And of course, electric guns don't only have to be the little motor moving around. Some also incorporate a blowback feature, as with this MP5. If you look here, every time you fire, the bolt will kick open and then close. So it gives you a bit more realistic feeling. It's electric, and this is kind of the economical blowback system, where you can fire the gun, get a wee bit of feedback from your weapon, and not, uh, not actually have to spend any money on gas or anything. So. Firing this MP5 will work a lot like this. And now we're moving on to the expensive stuff. The uh, really fun to shoot sort of guns are gas weapons. This one fills up a tank of gas here. There's a fill valve you put a can to, fill that with gas, and this shotgun will fire six, pellet, six to three pellets in a single shot. Just pump it, fire away, it'll use gas to projectile it. So, the key downside with gas guns is that when it gets really cold, it, the gas needs heat to expand, basically. So, you get less expansion, which means you start getting less bang for your buck. The, uh, the more you use it in cold environments, but hot environments, you actually have the opposite problem. The expansion can actually be too powerful. Now, this will adjust the power of your gun, and with Japan having a single joule limit, if it's a particularly hot day, using a particularly strong gas, you might fire hot, which isn't only dangerous to people you're shooting at, but it can also damage the internals of your gun. So, that being said, there's a lot to think about, but gas guns are pretty fantastic, and this shotgun in particular sounds like this. Right, now all that aside, we move on to what is considered one of the pinnacles of airsoft, which is gas blowback. Now with gas blowback, you fill this valve here, like the other gun, and it's actually going to shoot gas into the chamber to, sh to uh, run the whole operating mechanism. Although this one will actually chamber uh, a new round and visibly kick. This one actually has a bit of a powerful kick. Not nearly as powerful as a real gun, mind you, but it's enough kick to get you a psychological advantage to really get you into the proper mentality you need to be in. Now, what's particularly interesting is with this, let me put this magazine away for a second. As you can see here, when you open it, you can see the actual the magazine feed and everything. 
that's going to load in BBs from there. Like, pretty similar to the real thing. And of course, you actually have the bolt click. So, when you run out of ammo, the bolts will actually lock back, like so. So you can pop out the magazine, as you can see it's empty, load in your new magazine, although actually this isn't going to work because there's no BB in here, but if there was a BB, as soon as I pulled it, it would load the next round to be ready to fire. So, the scorpion sounds a lot like this. all the most common types of airsoft guns you'll be looking at. They all come in the different shapes and sizes like I mentioned, but some will be gas, some will be electric, and gas guns definitely get expensive not in the gun itself, but in the additional magazines, running up to as much as $50 per mag. Quite the price, although electric, mag electric magazines get pretty pricey too. Some can be for close to like $8 but I've seen some upwards to $20, $30, $40 per magazine, so... Yeah, it, it can get a little pricey as you go on, so... Buy smart. And there is one additional type, if you know Johnny, or if you've seen my video about the M4 Tidman Carbine, then you will know about that. It uses the hose and works similar to an actual paintball gun. Or marker, my own gun's evil in that realm, but it works a lot like a paintball marker to where it'll actually feed it and shoot. Now those can use electric bags, but they, yeah, they use a gas tank and a hose and everything, so that's how that works. And yeah, so that's your introduction to all the different types of gas, uh, guns, not gas guns, gas guns, electric guns, and spring guns, so spring will be cheapest, electric is kind of the solid middle, and then you've got gas with the most realistic expensive feel. Although electric and gas, I suppose, can be tuned up to be even far more efficient and simple stock model. So, that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those. But that's pretty much just a basic overview I wanted to give you guys. And next time we could get into some of the more, uh, I guess we'll probably do gear next as we cover guns. So, stay sure with everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye, cheers.